Hello everyone. In the previous video, we discussed about how we can boost our development process. And now the time is to let's get start with the text editor, which text editor we need to use. So there is two uh, much better options. The first one is uh, PHP Storm and second one is VS Code. So basically PHP Storm is a uh, heavy and it's uh, much, it's having much more functionalities but this one is paid and you can get the uh, 30 day or 40 day trials uh, of this PHP Storm and uh, if you don't have money so you can install the VS Code so it's also best for Laravel development. So why I'm saving this best? Uh, by default when you install this uh, VS Code so it's not best for you but you need to make this best. How you, you can make this best? So let's get started. So first you need to install the VS Code. So let's search here VS Code. Go to the first website which is code.vsstudio.com which is the official website of VS Code and then select your operating system so i'm using windows so if you are using different one so you can uh, go here and download your own one so let's click on this and this will download it into your computer right so now i'm going to click on it and open its exe file i'm going to basically install this so into my pc so in the previous video uh, in the previous i uninstalled this so let's click on this accept agreement and let's click on next and then i'm going to go to the program and vs file next next and install so it's pretty basic steps you need to click on next next and it will install it for you and then we are going to open this so uh, into the uh, taskbar and uh, open this vs code and then we are going to install different type of extensions so it's taking too much time and by the way if you are not familiar with my youtube channel so i am shooting different playlists and different tips and tricks on the laravel so if you are looking for different series like how to implement stripe integration uh, how you can charge your customer using subscription or single charge so there is a uh, a lot of things in this series so i have completed uh, with this series with single charge with subscriptions how you can pause and resume the subscription and stuff like that i have also implemented this full calendar js in the laravel so how you can handle the bookings or bettings from uh, by using this calendar so let me close this vs code and go back and yes it's still processing and uh, we are going to almost done and let's uh, let's select this one so it's the launch vs studio code let's click on this finish so it will automatically open the vs code for us okay it's opening the vs code and uh, now we are going to open a laravel application into it right and it's already open the vs uh, code extension and uh, one more weird thing what is the weird thing it's so uh, installed the all of the extensions uh, by default i install it into the my vs code so i'm going to uninstall these extension and then i'm going to do it uh, from step by step okay i find that i install this in the users and then let's go to the my username and then go to the vs code so here it's loading these extension from there so I'm going to uh, delete all of the extensions. Maybe it will delete the by default extension which comes uh, with the VS code. So no problem. I'm going to uninstall and then I'm going to reinstall into the series. So it will take a few times. So I'm going to I'm going to do this in the next video that. Uh, how you can uh, in this video we learned that how we can install the vs code and in the next video we are going to implement our next step how we can improve our uh, our material icon so i will meet you in the next one take care bye bye